Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So we are halfway through 2022 guys. We're right in the midst of summer. Today's high here in Texas was 105. I am melting away you guys. If I did happen to review any of them, I will list, um, well I will put those videos. I'll tag them down below. I'll link them down below rather tag them, whatever it is. Let me get my list. I've been moving it around a little bit. If you follow me on Letterboxd, you would have known what the list is by now. Top 10 movies of the year so far. In my own personal opinion, of course, please do not come after my list. Let's just, you know, mutual respect here. We're all about respect. So with that said, let's get on with number 10. And that's going to be Scream uh, 5. I think it's Scream 5. Scream 2022, however it is. I know people have issues that they didn't put a, a number to it or it didn't say Scream whatever. You know, like some little thing on the bottom that it's just like now scream it is what it is okay i really enjoy the scream fa franchise i do love slasher movies i i know i've said multiple times i don't like horror movies but more so it, it comes towards not liking like demonic witchy like little demonic kids um any kind of supernatural things are gonna pop out i don't like pop-up scares like i don't know i don't, I don't, I don't, I don't no i don't need all that in my life slasher zombies vampires um i like that that I, that's like the horror that i like one of the movies that came out literally at the beginning of the year for so for it to still uh be in my mind and like still remember it and still enjoy it you know six months down the line um just kind of speaks for itself did we need the og cast back we really didn't it's just so we can have them you know just to say that we have these legacy characters back but let's face it if we didn't have them they would be like damn we needed the legacy character so it's like either way it's like win or lose why not but i'm not talking i'm not trying to talk shit about my movie either way it goes it had a very like <gasps> moment i still won't say any spoilers in case you haven't seen it but i have seen it twice because when it came out on i think it's peacock paramount i don't know it's on one of the streaming services i really watched it and i enjoyed it again i enjoyed the type of movie for what they are now number nine is marvel's doctor strange in the multiverse of madness i feel though that this should have been more like a doctor strange versus the scarlet witch i don't really know about the whole like in the multiverse you know like it, it really was a, a big scarlet witch just as much as it was a doctor strange movie and again i know i feel like i'm talking crap about it but i'm really not it's just like little things that i also didn't say in my review that i also didn't say in my monthly wrap up but i still have like thoughts about it uh, but i truly enjoy them okay compared to the other movies which um this year so far i have seen a total of 47 movies well technically 46 because i did jesse thor so that one technically doesn't um count within you know the best of the year so far since that technically Thor came out in July. Technically behind on my queue, but honestly, you guys, I feel like 2021 really like burned me out and I was really on it with my channel last year. And this year, I'm just not feeling it. That's why I took like April off. I'm really kind of taking it chill, just kind of taking it back to just relaxing and enjoying it because otherwise I, I don't want to get tired of my channel, which I absolutely love and adore, but I just don't wanted to start feeling like a job uh but anywho that was just like a little public public announcement uh deal there in case you're wondering why i'm not posting as much maybe you are maybe you're not but just know i'm just trying not to get burned out because 2021 really really burned me up because even I, after i came back from my month like sabbatical or whatever i was I'm, i still wasn't 100 percent in feeling i'm barely kind of getting back into the role of things anywho dr strange gets really entertaining it does have some moments that i'm like i don't know but it's really fun um it has a lot of really cool uh graphics I truly love the Scarlet Witch. Um, she's really, really cool. The scene that really honestly stood out the most to me was there where, again, I said I was going to do spoilers. The musical note scene, you guys. Love that scene. Oh my God, you guys are so fucking hot. Um, I'm, I'm really, I'm not, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that because it's so hot. So number eight is a Netflix film called Hustle. This one does star um adam sandler where he is a recruit and i actually just talked about this in my june wrap-up love adam sandler and here i love that he's doing more like dramatic roles um this one does have a lot of like nba like real life nba players as far as i was um, aware of what i've heard after i talked about it in my monthly wrap-up because i didn't really know that i don't watch sports like i said that um, in my review, I'm not a sports person, but I do enjoy sports movies. Go ahead and move on to number seven, and that's going to be Sonic 2, which honestly I found to be way better than the original Sonic. And I love the world uh, that we continue to grow here. Um, Jim Carrey, 
love him guys i'm like literally sweating it's just so much more fun i loved having like these extra like knuckles and like tells and everybody that was incorporated within the movie uh unfortunately this probably i'm not sure if this movie exactly was the last movie but jim carrey did retire from movies so i think this was his last movie i'm not 100 but i think i think he is i can always correct me down below but it is truly truly a lot a lot of fun Moving on to number six is going to be uh, The Northman. And this um, is honestly the most serious one. I think it is the most, no, almost the most serious one on my list. We have Skosh Um, <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. Um, he's in this movie. We have uh, Nicole Kidman in this movie. I kind of um, say that you know, Big Little Lies kind of reunited there a little bit. Um, the performances are absolutely amazing. It's a story of revenge and betrayal. We're in Viking times. It has some weird shit happening. Um, and it's really, really good, you guys. I, I so good, so good that I bought the movie, you guys. And some of you are probably like, what do you mean? That's not like how, well, you're a movie channel, right? You buy movies all the time. Wrong, wrong, dear viewer, wrong. I don't buy movies all the time. I buy board games all the time, but I actually don't buy movies all the time. Usually I buy movies just through like Black Friday. And unless the movie's like on sale, I really, really want it. Um, I'll buy it, you know, just regular, but it's very, very rare. I went crazy this month, you guys, for buying movies, which is a lot. I bought three movies, you guys, thinking you're probably like seven. That's like nothing. No viewer, you just don't understand. I'm not one of those like, let me go every Tuesday for the new release. No. Yeah. Number five is another Netflix movie. This one is The Adam Project. Yes, you guys, The Adam Project. You're probably shocked that it's on the list. I'm shocked that it's on the list. When I went into this movie, I had zero expectations with it this is a uh time traveling sci-fi movie whatever and normally i'm really not a sci-fi type of gal but this movie did it really good it has like some action you know put in there and wait it is netflix right it's not prime it might be prime no i think it is netflix ryan reynolds comes on it and yes he is ryan reynolds but i feel like he did put the ryan reynolds down just a few notches just a, like a little bit and then we have like a young ryan reynolds because you know he's going back in time and that young actor who portrayed ryan reynolds in this absolutely killed it knocked it out of the park very heartwarming Ugh, jennifer garner mark ruffalo 13 going on 30 reunion there as well this is probably one of the most surprising movies on my list to be honest like i said i went into it expecting nothing from it uh, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that and we're gonna move on to number four which is movie number two that i purchased and this is the unbearable weight of massive talent starting nicholas cage you guys we got nick cage back last year if you recall i did have pig um as one of my favorite movies of the year nick cage is coming back not like he went anywhere um absolutely loved it last year it was pig and it was the uh willie's wonderland i also really enjoyed that one as well so nicholas cage is playing nick cage so a version of himself we have pedro pascal which oh i loved them in this movie you guys oh my god there's like one particular scene when they got high that movie absolutely killed it Tiffany haddish comes on in as well Oh my god, movie number two that I bought, I bought the Walmart special pack which came with a t-shirt which had like a big old like Nicolas Cage, uh, his face on there. Oh, I was gonna wear the shirt. Totally forgot. Before we do get uh, to my top three, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Number three. Um, this one actually was a knockdown because it was my number one for quite some time and that's going to be The Batman. It's a great movie. Robert Pattinson is absolutely amazing as a Batman. I know a lot of people were like talking shit and they're like, oh my god, and we're calling like, I get shit. Yeah, I need to take Robert Pattinson, Kristen Stewart, like all of the Twilight people just out of the Twilight deal. That was how many years ago? 15 years ago or what? Not like I love me the Twilight stuff, but like seriously, that was like 15 years ago. That was they were kids. They're grown as adults now. They're, they've done so much more since then. Crying out loud. Get over it. It's more like a, a, a noir type of Batman. This is more of a strictly batman movie you really don't see much of bruce wayne and when you do see bruce wayne he's very like emo bruce, bruce wayne kind of be very dark the car scene when we got introduced to the car was like oh yeah 
love the music the soundtrack really really great go ahead and move on with number two which is Top Gun Maverick um, surprisingly enough though I am not really a fan of Top Gun I honestly just saw uh, Top Gun for the first time like a week before I saw Maverick I think you definitely do need to see Top Gun in order to kind of get more of a feel for Maverick you don't necessarily need to watch it but I feel like in order to under understand where this character is at this point um you would definitely benefit and then kind of the relationship with one of the other um, characters with miles teller i forgot his name and his mustache um you definitely should watch um the first part great great movie that actually is still apparently selling out in theaters and that movie came out i believe in may during memorial day it's a great great sequel that surpasses the original in my mind of course along a lot of people have Top Gun as some of their favorite movies of all time. For me, it just wasn't that. But I have heard from other people as well that, that this movie definitely is better than the first one. Who still do love the first movie. Um, but yeah, it's an absolute joy. It's heartwarming as well. Great cast. But coming in in first place is Everything Everywhere All At Once, you guys. This movie has everything that I love in a movie. It's weird, it has uh, action scenes, it has comedy, it's sentimental, has a great story. Ugh, I love it you guys, I love it. This is the third movie that I purchased. It's kind of like a multiverse, but it's like different dimensions and stuff. Um, it's just kind of how you're able to channel yourself in these other dimensions and you're able to kind of pick up on their, their skills and maybe see how your life would have been in this other stuff. Love, 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 love. Um, Joy, Joy's costumes. Love it, which is a daughter. Oh my God, I love every last costume. It is so weird. Like you guys, we get like a fight with like dildos, like these big ass dildos. There's this like fight. You have to do weird shit to be able to like channel different dimensions. And oh my God, you guys. <laughs> we'll just say, for the people that have seen it, this is one of my favorite scenes. That I think he was a cop or the security or whatever jumping trophy. <laughs> Love that scene. Oh my god, that scene cracked me up. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. It is, I, I think it's still in theaters, like in certain theaters. I've seen it on my AMC. But you can buy, buy the movie. I definitely recommend it. Uh, rent it whatever you guys but this is definitely a feel a must watch uh, but yeah these are the uh 10 movies that i find to be the best of the year so far out of the 45 movies that i have seen so far obviously i haven't seen all the movies definitely share your list of your top 10 movies of the year so far well, that is my list and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye